Welcome back to Navy Sports Magazine. Time to talk a little wrestling. And on Friday night, we had some drama at Alumni Hall and uh, a great match to broadcast, especially over the final couple of matches of the night with Spencer Carey. First of all, with, with your match, I mean, your guy that's going out there right now, not quite 100%. How tough is it to go into these matches against good competition within your league now in the IWA, even though you know you're not 100%, but you still find a way to get out there and get the job done? I mean... I just been uh, just doing whatever the trainer or the doc tells me to do. So I did some needling and stuff with our team doc for the first time. That actually has been helping a lot. So like going into matches, like I mean, my one coach, uh, Coach Neff, told me before going into the Bucknell match, he said, "Wrestle like you're down or you're up a point." So that was basically him telling me to be like a little conservative. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like blow it out of the water and like hurt yourself. Like uh, so he said. So that was like something. That, is that easier said than done, though? Yeah, definitely. Or I guess no, because uh, you get out there and you start getting like maybe start getting the groove, but at the same time you kind of and you want to like put up a, a lot of points. And again, like a close match like that, like, you want to score a lot for the team, not just for yourself. And uh, but you also got to worry about matches down the line. So if I like do something stupid in that match and then hurt myself a little True. bit more, then it actually might have more of an impact on the team than that current match you know through the time of your career here i mean there's been a lot of wins along the way what's been the key to your development to, to where you are now where you've had so far a very successful career here i think just consistent work like working with the coaches and just like trusting what they're doing and obviously working with guys on the team and being diligent in practice like i, I mean obviously like the coaches like coach sherrett's won more national titles than i have so like what he says, it means a lot, and I try to really like buy into whatever he's saying and try to get the team to do the same. Is that the toughest part going into the room every day? I mean, we see the, you know, the 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 seven minutes maybe that you wrestle, you know, like Friday night or something like that. But how tough is it each day to get into that room and do that work for the amount of time that you have to? Uh, because you all wrestle obviously at, at an extremely high level. It's pretty tough. Yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, like going at I mean, I'll tell you this, like after practice, going up I live on five four, which is uh it's technically like five flights of stairs. I have to take breaks going up yeah. the stairs. Yeah, so yeah, you're pretty your body is definitely hurting pretty good, um, after like a long practice and it's it's not easy during it. We'll do a lot of like partner massages and stuff like that to make sure you're staying feeling good because it does wear down on you, but I mean, in the practice, you just it's just kind of like a mindset. Like everyone's tired. It's just how tired are you gonna like show? Are you gonna like show yourself being tired? And like how far are you gonna like push yourself? And again, that carries over to like a match where you're in like overtime or even just regular regular uh, wrestling time. So you got to really push yourself to get a takedown or whatever it may be. I was gonna say. I mean, yes, it's a wrestling team, but. <laughs> During your match, it's an individual sport mm -hmm. at that point. You know, you can't call timeout and get a sub mm -hmm. uh, or anything like that. You know, what got you into wrestling and, and obviously what has, has kept you in it to, to the fact you know, now? I mean, obviously, you're, you're a Division One wrestler and, and one of the best in your weight class. Uh, I would, I mean, I started young. My dad did it in high school and he coached like our local rec team. So he just kind of would drag me along and eventually I started wrestling. And then I kind of started getting serious about it. And I did a little bit of every sport, like, growing up. But uh, for high school, I focused on wrestling. I just thought I just had the most fun with it and it was the most challenging. And, I mean, I think I liked, like, the individual aspect of it. But uh, it's also there is, like, a lot of team. Like, if like if the team wasn't as, like, the guys weren't as great as they were, like, I don't even know if, like, uh, I would do this sport, you know. Um so it definitely has like an impact, like the people you're dealing with, even though like people call it not a team sport, but really it is. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you guys obviously are responsible for picking each other up, though. I mean, I watch during the course of the match, I watch how all of you guys, when you're not wrestling, you know, you're out there trying to support your guys, you know, because as you mentioned, if you do well, maybe they do well, maybe something they see that you do, maybe they try it themselves uh, and it can help them out. How important is that support factor out there, you know, not only while you're wrestling, but uh, a guy with your experience helping as many young guys as you all have that are participating right now? Yeah, I mean, well, during a match, like, the momentum piece is huge. Like, 
Cody Travis got that pin, and like pins will get people fired up, mm-hmm. and uh, at least for me it does. And then the guys on the bench too, like they're they're going crazy. A lot of, I think personally, a lot of noise like is better for me. I don't like it when I'm wrestling in, like a quiet room. I like a lot of noise, so like so I don't like really think about things because if you're thinking when you're wrestling, you kind of might mess up a little bit. Um, so yeah, when they're yelling and just like getting you amped up, and you hear hear them saying all good things and yeah. get you going. So. Or, of course, the two hecklers we heard behind the railing oh, behind yeah. us the <laughs> other night. Uh, they they were definitely heard. Um, oh, a yeah. lot of advice uh, coming from those guys. The last two matches of the night, as a teammate watching, you know, Kozar and John do what they did because they had to do what they did or you all weren't going to be able to win yeah. that match. What was that like to watch those two guys and to see them as plebes step up in huge situations like that to help your team out. Yeah, I was super pumped for them. Like they're really like the dynamic duo, like a great way to top our top off our uh lineup and Kozer's match, like I told him after cuz that kid was ranked. Yeah. That was his first ranked win. I'm like, dude, once you get one, it was just start rolling, start getting others. So, I was super pumped for him and then John gave us a little scare. In the beginning, but uh, seven to two, yeah, and right over in front of Brie, our camera person, and myself, he was about this close to getting pinned, and yet he he comes up with the resolve to come back and win seventeen seven. How does a guy do that? I mean, you just gotta you just stay composed. That's really it. Like both of them, like that's probably the most impressive part. Like because Jake was down when he uh, came back and won, and so was. Uh, John really is just being consistent, composed, and not really changing what you're doing just because of like the score. You just got to believe in what you're doing. But yeah, those two really impressed me. Really impressed me, and then it like shows like what they're doing in the room, and like they're having great results and really helping the team. So awesome! It's really just awesome to see. Is patience one of the hardest things to have in your sport? Yes, because you'll be putting again, you'll be putting hours and hours of work in every week, and it's like hard work, but even guys that are like lower on the depth chart, they may never see the um, the starting lineup. Like they're still putting hours of work in. But I remember like when I wasn't starting, like I was just patiently doing what I can to try to get in the lineup. And uh, I mean, when it pays off, it pays off. So definitely a big part of like the sport. All right, big fella. Appreciate the time today, and obviously best of luck with what remains of the season. Thank you. All right, Spencer Carey joining us here on the Navy Sports Magazine.